All right, y'all. So here's a hygiene hack that I always use. I love going to the travel section to grab things when my money is looking funny or things that I just need to keep on the go so I can be fresh, clean, disinfect. The next, I always try to keep me some Kleenex on tap. Listen, when your money is looking funny, the travel section becomes your best friend. These are things that you can keep in your refresh bag, in your car, in your purse. Listen, you never know when a headache's gonna come. You never know when you're gonna have them days where you slip up and forget to put some deodorant on. Make sure you become best friends with the travel section because it'll always keep you right. Listen, while you up getting the kids ready for school, make sure you hit that mouth of yours too. And if you forget, you got a backup in your purse so you can go to the bathroom and take care of business. Y'all let me know if y'all love the um, travel size section as much as I do. It will save you time or money and it'll save you a lot of embarrassment. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments because hear me when I say, if your money is looking funny, don't be ashamed to go to the travel section in your Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, whatever you need to do to make sure you are always on point. Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. you guys so listen while you guys are soaking in this detox bath make sure you're checking in with yourself but how you detox after your periods you're gonna let the warm water run and then you're gonna add a cup of baking soda while the water is running you want to get your water as warm as you can stand it and then add some apple cider vinegar i love the bragg's raw raw apple cider vinegar and sit there and soak and as i state sit there and relax be one with your thoughts Write down what you're grateful for. You can pick up my self-care journal now. The link is in the bio. Once you get out the, the bathtub, you're going to take this Perry bottle. It's the bottle that they give you like when you have babies. But you're going to put some warm water in there and you're going to insert this and make sure you're getting all the dry gunk blood you know the stuff that be caked up in your walls and then like i said just make sure you grab my self-care journal so that you can check in with yourself and be one with your thoughts follow me right here for more old school ways to take better care of yourself i love you guys all right so you want to know how to keep your behind fresh and keep your sit down air from being funky keep watching the first thing you want to do i always say get your base clean Listen, we're talking about your behind, but I want you to take you a washcloth, get you a bar of Dial soap, antibacterial, because it's going to get all the funk out of there. And then I want you to do this about two to three times, and I, then I want you to do the smell test. Then I want you to go in with Old Faithful right here, Irish Spring Body Wash, the original scent. I want you to scrub back up with that and let it sit for a little while while you wash the rest of your body. When I tell you, you don't want to be nowhere slipping out in these streets with your sit down air is funky as hell. You don't want to do that. So you want to make sure your behind is clean because that behind has its own stitch back there. And then once you get out the shower, you've washed your, you washed your behind really good, washed all your body, but we just talking about the behind for right now. Listen, once you do that, you get out the dry, out the shower and you dry yourself off. I always go in with a paper towel to make sure I'm really dry back there because that moisture is what draws in funk. That moisture holds odor. So you want to make sure you pat yourself dry or get in front of the fan and let it blow you dry, whatever way you want to do it. And then you're going to follow up this just for extra security because I don't want you out in these streets slipping. I don't want you sitting down in public and you get up and you knock somebody out. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to take a cotton swab, a cotton pad, and some good old faithful witch hazel. And I want you to dap, dap it back there. Like, not scrub hard because that behind is a little sensitive back there. But pat it back there because that witch hazel is going to continue to draw that odor out. Because hear me when I say... When I learned these old-fashioned tips and tricks years ago, listen, I share a lot of the tricks and tips that I, I use on a daily basis that helps me keep my body odor down. Because y'all know my story for years as a child. I struggled with my body odor. And, honey, kids ain't, kids ain't nice. And they even brutal now. But kids are not nice. So I was teased a lot. So I don't play about this odor stuff. But I share a lot of my old-school remedies in the high school the checklist hygiene checklist make sure you grab that well if you want to get real deep into it make sure you grab the self-care bundle because i have my old school remedies ebook in there with all my tips and tricks in there but make sure you try these tips 
and let me know in the comments how it helps you. The number one thing that will keep you fresh all day, if you don't have nothing else in your house, hear me when I say, this baby right here, all you need is a bar of Dow antibacterial soap. Clean your whole entire body except for your lady parts. But if you want to stay fresh and your money is looking funny, all you need is this one baby right here. Game changer. Thank me later. Follow me right here for more old school ways to take better care of yourself. All right, guys, so I'm back with another hygiene tip for you guys to have fresh breath, to take care of your gums. Listen, if you're not oil pooling by now, I don't know where you've been hiding under a rock or whatever. You need to be oil pooling, and this baby right here is going to get you right. Y'all know if y'all been following me, y'all know I do a lot of old school remedies, and I be using my old-fashioned organic, organic um, oil pooling, but this one has a lot more to it see a lot of people don't like the taste of the original the organic coconut oil that you get out of the grocery store but this one is coconut plus mint so not only is it does it doesn't have a weird taste it has a weird taste but it has a minty taste to it it helps with sensitivity y'all it helps to whiten your teeth i mean my teeth are getting whiter and whiter i've never really ever had white teeth before but they're getting close they're getting whiter they not as white as as a lot of people teeth, but my teeth has never been white, but I can tell they getting whiter. And then to the sensitivity that I had, cause y'all know I went to the dentist uh, um, about a month and a half ago and they told me I had a couple of cavities. So I'm putting this to the test because it says it's supposed to prevent cavities as well. But I can say this, my sensitivity in my teeth is gone. And I've been using this, this is my second bottle. And this one, you know, I got off TikTok and they got the little brush. And they got the the steel um, tongue scraper because you need to be scraping that tongue too because that tongue have a lot of odor on it too. But y'all, add this to y'all oral hygiene. I promise you, thank me later. I'm gonna have the link listed right here so you can go grab it so it's no excuse. Or start oil pulling today. So by the time we get 90 plus years old, we'll still have our original set of teeth. We don't want, our goal is to not get dentures. So take care of your teeth, you guys. Take care of your breath because you can be the most beautiful woman out here on this planet. But if your breath is stinking, you might as well just let all that beauty on the outside go to waste. So take care of your teeth, you guys. Take care of your gum. Get this. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Add this to your oral hygiene routine. I'm going to leave the link for it below. So make sure y'all grab it because it sells out a lot in Walmart. It sells out a lot in the Tic Tacs tiktok store but go get this you guys and add this to your hygiene routine i promise you your mouth will be a happy camper so your ph balance is off here's a quick and easy old school remedy way of getting your ph balance back on track run you some warm hot water as warm as you can stand and then add you a little apple cider vinegar in there this is my favorite brand make sure you grab my ebook smell good it's a lot of old school remedy ways to smell good from the inside out the link is in the bio but do this as often as you need to and while you're doing this make sure you're drinking a lot of water and eat as many vegetables as you can it'll kind of help detox your body clean you out and just get your body back on track these are some old school remedy ways that have been working for me for years my granny taught me make sure you share this with somebody that may need this and leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts you guys so you want to smell good without breaking a bank listen it be the most inexpensive perfumes that be getting me the most compliments it's not like the well i don't have a lot of high-end perfume anyway but it be the most inexpensive perfumes that's that have me getting the most compliments and lately y'all y'all gonna be shocked but when i tell y'all these two right here mixed together Oh, honey, it's something to smell good for. I've had two men to walk up to me and be like, you smell so good. I got to have this. I got to let you got to let me know what you wear so I can get my wife. And one was like, so I can get my girlfriend. But it's just this Billy Eilish, the one that smells like vanilla and this Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. 
mix these two together. Oh, honey, you y'all, I've been wearing this for for the entire month of November. I'm I'm serious, you guys. Mix these two together. Oh, girl, look at this. It's just a match made in heaven. So if you don't want to break the bank, if you uh, are on a, a tight budget and you want to get something nice for yourself or for your loved ones, you know, for those men that are watching me, if you're looking for something to get your wife, your girlfriend, this right here, I'm telling you, y'all know I would not stare y'all wrong. Super, super inexpensive. This one, I think I'm going to have it um, right above the video if they have it in the TikTok shop. But this right here and this right here, y'all, go get this. I promise you, you won't regret it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, y'all. So, listen. This this is this is something I, re I really want y'all to pick it up. Listen. Life be lifing. Now, this is what self-care over 40 looks like. Listen. I don't know about y'all, but when I was growing up, it was always drilled in me. You got to grow up, get married, have your babies, get you a house. You need to own your own house and all that good stuff. And that's all great. And then that's real great. But with the way the economy is set up, life be life. In. And at this point, I'm really grateful that I don't have a house yet. Because you know why? It is a lot to upkeep a house. I'm telling you, I've been in my apartment a few years now. When I tell you the last three months or so, everything that could break down has broken down. Like you told my dishwasher stopped working. I mean, I get it. It's it's it was tired. It was it was time to retire. I get it. Then on top of that, other stuff was breaking down. It's like to upkeep a house, you guys. It is a lot of work. Whether you're in an apartment or a house, stuff going to get to breaking stuff. And the only thing I can say that I'm truly grateful that I'm still in an apartment is I don't have to deal with the upfront cost. If something breaks down up in here, I can call maintenance and be on my merry little way. But how about last night, y'all, my washing machine is not spinning it's not draining the clothes like when the clothes get through they still full of water and then this thing is full of, i'm like okay come on now it's like really it almost seemed like if it's not one thing it's something else and then here's here's the kicker everything that you have for a period of time is eventually gonna 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 give out i mean it's man-made i understand all that but it's like, if I had been in a house, y'all, I'd probably be out almost two grand because of all this stuff that's been breaking down. It's like, where they do that at? Like, it's like, I missed, y'all let me know in the comments. I missed them days where the rent was like three, four $400. I, mi I missed them days. I really do. I really wish they would bring them days back. Now, to even get an apartment, you got to make three times the rent. I'm like, uh, excuse me, did you run that by these jobs that you have to make three times the rent to get into a place? That's why I say, and I say this with the utmost respect, stop letting people dictate how you run your household. Stop letting people make you feel bad because you haven't purchased a home yet and you this age and all that. Forget all that stuff. Listen, listen. You got to do what's best for you and your pocketbook. You got to do what's best for you and your checking account. The way your checking account is set up. Not what you hope it would be. Not what you want it to be. But what your checking account looking like at the moment. You got to be the determining factor of do you rent or do you purchase a home. Because I promise you, it's more upkeep to purchase a home in your own home because all that cost and all the expenses is on you. When you're renting, mind you, I do still want to get my home. I ain't going to lie to you. I really do. But it's looking like all this stuff that you got to do. It's almost like, you know, it, 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 just, it just, I don't know. It, life, life is life, y'all. Y'all let me know y'all comments below because... 
stuff be tearing up and breaking down at the wrong time. It's like, listen, can we just get through the holidays without you breaking down, without something coming up that I got to give some more money to? Let me know y'all thoughts.